Many Fade players in ranked, but also on a professional level, are using the ultimate from Fade incorrectly. I would like to showcase you the most egregious example and how to fix it. Hello everyone, welcome to Lotus Lab. Today we're going to be talking about Fade. I know it's not my main, but there's something I would like to show you. So, when we're playing on Pearl and you're taking a space with the ultimate, people are just do typically doing something like this. They start out the barrier, they use the prowler to get the first space, right? Use the prowler here, then sometimes even use a second prowler in here, and then they go onto site, ult it, use the eye, and they fall back. Because, you know, no one wants to go in, and they maybe even call, hey, go maybe uh, fake, because they, they, they can't hear footsteps, which is... A 100% mistake. The ultimate is so powerful, it's actually unreal. When you take a look at the compendium, you can see that Fade has a huge all priority on the attack. That's because of the raw power that the ultimate has. Like, the ability to cover the footsteps is great to just push the site, right? But the problem is, if you use your prowlers before you actually use the ultimate, you are essentially you're essentially uh, cancelling your angle-denying uh, secondary role as a fade. Why? Look at this. I'm going to go to Valor Plant, right? So, it's typically, typically it's going to look like this, right? You're going to take the space with the two prowlers, you're going to use the ultimate, right? And then you're going to use the eye. So, those two pieces of utility, the eye and the ultimate, serve, serve the same purpose because they're giving you info on site. Even though you don't see players with the ultimate, but you get the trails. Right? But the trails are enabling the prowlers to their full potential. So you want to save your prowlers when you have the ultimate, because that allows you to push the site. And that is something that so many people fail at uh, doing. They always use the prowlers before they get to the ult, and then the ult doesn't have the full power, but also the prowlers doesn't have the full power. Because when they are buffed and they are on the trail, they are 10 times better than they are normally without the trail, right? So how do we fix this? How do you get want, want to get better um, at a situation like that? And it's a very simple solution. Instead of using the prowlers to get the early space, you swap, you change the mindset, right? So we're gonna clear, we're gonna clear here everything. And instead of using the prowlers to control the early space, we're gonna use something in our disposal that serves a similar purpose, but is better at it, right? We're gonna use the haunt early game to make sure that we have the space cleared, right? So we're gonna put the hunt over here in this in this space so you can clear every single angle if someone is aggressive. If someone is standing in A main, he's gonna get cleared. If someone pushed out and gonna hide in the cubby, still gonna get cleared because if you're gonna put the hunt over here, for example, then this player can still hide in this little cubby, right? So you want to put the eye over here to get every single angle cleared. And when you do that, you're able to take the space. Then you can go onto, uh, onto a main and ult the site and do the double prowlers with the trails, right? Because then you have the full power of the ultimate. Now you can just easily execute because after using the ultimate, not only all the players are marked, they are deafened for 12 seconds and they have the DK for 75 damage. Now you're going to hunt them down with the prowlers with their full potential. So you're just going to have a very easy push because the defending players will have a trouble destroying two prowlers and stopping all of the push. Now, how to do this uh, lineup, it's also something that I prepared at the beginning of uh, before recording this video so we're gonna we're gonna go at the barrier and i'm gonna show you the lineup that i prepared we're gonna stand in this corner it's very simple by the way it's very simple i'm gonna stand in the corner equip the eye and there are two possibilities one possibility is below the wall you're gonna aim at this spot and the second possibility is here let me just take the operator so one spot you put your crosser in this part of the wall and the second spot, it's at the, how do you call it? I don't know. Well, the thing here, the construction thing, right? So you just, scaffolding, here we go. So you're going to put it on the scaffolding or on the wall here. And it lands like this. On the wall here, it's going to land on the top of the wall. And it's going to discover the entire lobby. The other one is lower. And it lands at the at the feet, essentially, right? So let me show you it. Hi, caramba, my friends. Lands over here, discovers everyone, and you can take the space. 
So you can go here, ult the site, and just double Prowler when you have the trailers active. So you don't even have to peek because the Prowlers will have the trail over here. And essentially this enables to push the site with the full potential, infuse confidence into your teammates, be a true initiator. And remember, the ultimate is an 8 orb. Using it to fake pushing sites is just not effective. Think about it this way. If you're playing with a breach, did you ever use the ultimate on breach to fake pushing a site? I don't think so, right? And fade has a very similar ult, but is like five times stronger than breach's ult. So why on earth would you use that ultimate to fake a potential push? Instead, use that raw power, get that side, get the easy kills. Thank you for watching a shorter video today. See you guys around.